Alright, so uh, this is going to be a quick demonstration video of my um, mini fire alarm system that I have right here. It's technically not a system, it's just hooked up to the wall using an AC adapter, but um, if you really think about it, it's quite big. So uh, first off, we have the FCI MS2L pull station. It's basically a, a fancy locked version of the FCI MS2 where you can just lock this. And uh, currently have it unlocked though, but um, very nice. Come up here, we have the system sensor mass um, on a back box hanging on the wall, and I have that random sign. And uh, yeah, so what this um, thing has, we have two two uh, alerting alarms, and we have three activating stations. The first station is a FCI MS2L, and if we were to follow this wire coming up from over here. It goes to a system sensor 2400 smoke detector, and uh, we'll currently see it blink right now, just like that. We do have power, and then we follow this back to the alarm. And then coming over here, coming into the hallway, we have, following the wire, an FCI, or excuse me, a system sensor uh, Spectra Classic hooked up here in the hallway. And if we also follow this wire coming back over here, we have another system sensor 2400 smoke detector uh, in the hallway with power as well. If we can see it blink just in a second. Um, there we go. The system does have power. We have three activating alarms. So um, yeah, this one's a little yellowed. But if we follow this back, you may be wondering, well, if the smoke detector were to go off, um, how do you reset it? Would you have to unplug the power? Yes, but also no. I figure out if we follow this wire, if we go down to the adapter, boom. We have an alarm silent switch where if you want the smoke detectors or the alarms to be shut off, all you have to do is flip that switch and that cuts power to, the, to everything after this. And um, if you just want power to be stored back, you just flip that back down and you have power. And then you come down here and you have the adapter. Um, right now we're gonna, well I'll show this how this works basically to reset the smoke detectors. But um, first let's go ahead and activate the MS2L. All you have to do is do that, flip the switch, do that, flip that down, there's a model number, and do that. So now, once that's reset, all you have to do, and everything is just reset back to normal. So uh, I'll go ahead and get a little stick so I can stick it in the uh, smoke detector so we can activate it. All right, I went ahead and got my little hex wrench thing, and we're gonna go ahead and stick it in that hole right there, which will activate the alarm. So once I stick that in there, you see this, oh, come on, here we go, three, two, one. And to basically shut off the smoke detector, all you have to do is that, and it resets it. And, uh, now you can see smoke detector is back to normal and it'll keep blinking and doing its thing. And uh, if we come back over here now, we'll go ahead and test this one real quick. Same thing, same type of smoke detector. All you have to do is, uh, there we go, is that? And yeah. That resets your system. So, yeah, that's a little demonstration of this. Thanks for watching.